This video is brought to you by DroneQuote, the best way to get solar quotes on your terms. More on that in just a little while. I got solar back in 2011, and I'm happy to say after about eight years, my panels have just paid for themselves. So for a quick summary, I bought five panels for a total system output of 1.2 kilowatts. And that system in 2011 cost me about $10,000. After federal and state incentives, that price dropped to about $6,500. And in those eight years since I got my panels, our electricity prices have gone from 20 cents a kilowatt hour all the way up to 50 in the summertime. My panels have actually saved me more than they cost me and will continue to keep saving me money and generating electricity for years to come. One of the common comments that I get is that by the time that solar panels pay themselves off, they'll have degraded and fall apart and need to be replaced. And I'm happy to tell you after about nine years, my solar panels look nearly new and they're functioning well within the range of where they should be. I've experienced a degradation of about five or 6% in eight years. And that is well within the range of the 20% degradation by year 25. So will your solar panels fall apart by the time they pay themselves off? Not at all. Of all the things that are out in the sun, I can't think of anything that's been more bulletproof than my solar system. Now it's not just the panels. The second part of the equation is the inverters. The system that takes the DC voltage and current and inverts it into AC for your house. I went with Enphase Micro Inverters. I have five M215s and they have a 25 year warranty. So they're not even halfway to that point yet and they are functioning perfectly. A microinverter means that there's actually an inverter on every single panel. So each microinverter only has to do the inverting for one panel. Uh, the benefits here is if you have problems with shading, shading on one panel isn't going to affect the others. Your other option for inverters is a little more economic and that is a string inverter and that just takes all of your panels and inverts them all together. Now these traditionally have been more prone to shading problems but there's solar optimizers now which are something you install on the panel level to help with that. But I love micro inverters because each individual cell will not affect the others. If there's shading or degradation, if one panel is just not doing as well as the others, it won't bring down the performance of the other panels. So my payback period ended up being about eight years, which is quite a while actually. But the good news is solar panel prices have dropped considerably in that period. In fact, I'm planning on getting more panels. Now that I've paid these off, I want to get 12 more panels and add about 3.6 kilowatts to my system. And that is about three times the size of my original system. And it's going to cost about the same, about $10,000. So in nine years, solar panel prices have come down by about a third. So that's a huge drop, especially as solar panel manufacturing has improved and everything has reached a level of scale, making it way more affordable. So many people ask me, do I regret buying panels in 2011? Would I have been better off just saving my money and buying them today and buying a much bigger system? And to that, I would say, well, the main reason I got solar to begin with was I wanted to learn about living with solar. I wanted to have them for a long period of time, see just how durable they are, what kinds of maintenance and upkeep and problems they come with. So for those reasons, I'm not really too worried about it. Also, this entire channel kind of grew to become what it is because of my very first video on solar that I did back in 2017. That was our first breakout video and it showed me that there are people interested in sustainability. And in fact, it made me even more focused on sustainability. So for those reasons, I'm glad I did it. And I'm also glad that I got a small system. One of my key takeaways early on in that video in 2017 was that you don't have to feel pressure to get a huge complete system today you can always add on more later. And I'm so glad I did because a lot of people were getting 20 and $30,000 systems back in 2011. I just got the smallest system my installer was willing to install, which was a five panel 1.2 kilowatt system. That's why I'm so glad that I only got five panels back then. And as a result, I was freed to buy more panels in the future when they were cheaper. 
This is my biggest takeaway in that video, and I hope that all of you guys remember that you don't have to feel pressured to meet your entire need today. If you just got a third of the system that you ultimately want and grew into it by upgrading and adding more later, that's totally fine too. So now that my panels are paid off, it might be a little counterintuitive to think that I wanna buy more. Well, first of all, I just love solar and I want more of my energy to come from the energy on my roof. But there are a few key reasons why I do want to add more panels now. In 2011, I was a bachelor living by myself. Fast forward to today, I'm married and I have two children. So our energy usage is just way higher. We have more appliances, we've remodeled our kitchen, we now have a double oven, we have multiple refrigerators for all the food that we store, we have an electric vehicle, I have a Tesla Model 3. And so our level of consumption has grown. So my bill after getting my first five panels was around $30 a month. But now that bill has gone up significantly to about $130 a month. And all that is from the extra usage of more appliances. So the first reason is just pure economics. I wanna save that $100 a month as well. And that $100 a month figure is during the average part of the year. During the really peak summertime, the savings can be easily two and $300 based on how much we run the air conditioning. The second reason why I'm really keen on getting more solar now is in the interest of being more prepared for emergencies. I think our current pandemic has showed us just how important it is to be able to sustain yourself and your family for a few months at a time during uncertain periods. Here in Southern California, in San Diego, we have wildfires, we could have earthquakes, other issues. And I think what I've learned is I want to be able to sustain my house even in the event of an emergency for a couple of months at a time. And the first step to doing that is adding more solar because my current tiny system can't power my house at any part of the day entirely. So I need to have more solar panels. The second part of that is the battery storage. Without battery storage, you wouldn't have power at night. And with a big enough system plus battery storage, you might be able to sustain your house, maybe not running every appliance you normally would, but enough to run your refrigerators, your computers, and your TVs, and live a pretty comfortable life for months at a time entirely in the absence of the energy grid. And that's the main reason why I'm doing this. At this point in my life, I've saved enough money, I'm ready to do this, and I'm ready to invest in a bigger solar system plus batteries. So let's talk about prices. First of all, I'm getting more solar panels. I currently have 1.2 and I wanna add three times that, about 3.6 kilowatts, and that will cost around $10,000, $11,000. Now we still qualify for the 26% federal tax credit. That is going to wind down and it will not be available for much longer, only for commercial installations. So in terms of reasons to get solar, the other reason is I wanna take advantage of that 26% federal tax credit now. The second part will be the Tesla Powerwall, and a Tesla Powerwall will cost you between eight, nine, maybe $10,000, depending on if you have to have your service panel upgraded and other considerations. But that's not a small amount of money. It's about $20,000 all in. And I know that sounds like a lot. And this is again why I think you should spread this out. I've been waiting to do both of these things for quite a while. I've earmarked money and I've saved and I'm ready to do it. So for you, you should feel free to just add on slowly. Maybe you get half of the solar you need today, maybe in two or three years, you get the other half, maybe three years after that, you get the batteries, or maybe you've saved up, maybe your tax credit came in, whatever your situation, just remember that these pieces all plug in and they can all be added on to later. So in terms of getting prices for quotes for some of these things, I know it can be daunting. And that's where the sponsor of this video, Drone Quote, comes in. Drone Quote is the official solar partner of Tuba Da Vinci. They have a platform that allows you to take all the guesswork out and get rid of the high pressure sales of solar. There's so much about solar that I love. Being more independent, being more ready for emergencies, saving money, but there's one thing about solar that I know I don't like, and that is the high pressure salespeople. I've had two over the years come up when I've thought about upgrading in the past, and I immediately was so turned off by them that I just said, you know what, forget it. I don't need more solar today. And that's where DroneQuote has taken things to another level. With DroneQuote, all you gotta do is sign up on their web portal, give some basic information. They'll send a licensed drone pilot to come and take a site survey of your roof line. They then take all this information and allow really highly qualified installers in your area to be able to compete and send you quotes. You're then free to pick which one you like or send more questions or get more feedback. And for any of our viewers who love DroneQuote and have used DroneQuote, leave us messages. I'll leave 
the drone quote team's email if you have questions. Um, they're just incredibly valuable and such a great resource. You've probably seen them on our channel before. We've done videos together. We're big fans of them and they can help you with solar and also batteries, whether it's LG Chem or Tesla Powerwalls. You can shop for all of this stuff on DroneQuote. So all you gotta do, dronequote.net slash 2bit, and you'll get the special 2bit DaVinci pricing. And I urge you to shop around and see how DroneQuote compares to any other quotes that you get. And of course, you're free to make your own choice. That's the whole power of this platform. So this is part one of many more videos coming up. I'm going to talk about my experience getting more solar panels installed, the work on the roof, the inverters, the panels themselves. I'm even going to experiment with some used panels and see how well old used panels perform and whether they're worth the savings in terms of cost. And lastly, when my power wall is ready, we will do videos on that as well. So we have tons planned. I know this is the hot summer part of the year and those tax credits are slowly phasing out. So it's as good a time as any if you're interested in solar. That pretty much does it for us here. Leave us your comments and your questions. I read a lot of the comments and I know what you guys are thinking about. So if you have any questions about solar, if it's right for you, and again, it might not be right for everyone based on where you live and how high your prices are. It makes more sense for some than others, but as the prices continue to drop, it increasingly makes sense for more people, especially in the context of emergency preparedness. So that pretty much does it for us. Thank you so much for watching this video. A special shout out to all of our patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for supporting us these last few months, especially with all the uncertainty with our channel and what's going on in the world. It means so much to us. And if you want to be a rock star supporter of this show, consider joining us on Patreon. That pretty much does it. If this video was helpful, please share it with your friends on social media. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave us comments if you have questions in particular. We love seeing it. We love interacting with you guys. And um, that pretty much does it for us. I'm Ricky with Tuba Da Vinci. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.